We are Pinteresting. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we need face cleanser and vinegar for, but we're going to find out. I love yeah, uh, this. That's right. This starts, a story starts with a recent trip. It does. That's right. I was on vacation, and as many people know, when you're, when you're traveling, you can't bring everything you own. You can't bring all your products. You can't bring all your makeup. You have to cut everything can't down. Can't bring this. It's a, it's a liquid, right? right? So it, it's face cleanser. Stay and back. And even then, not, I brought my face cleanser. I wasn't able to bring my face masks and my face scrubs and all those fantastic things that I use. The three hours our nightly regimen was exactly. well, uh, curved. Exactly. When you have a lot of makeup, you have to use those things to That's take it true. off, right? Yes, so, I actually know that. <laughs> anyway, so when I was on vacation, I really, I discovered I really need to scrub my face. You know, sometimes you just need to exfoliate. And yes. I didn't have my scrub on me. Went on Pinterest and I found out that baking soda was apparently an awesome product to use. You could be saving a lot of money with this. You could. Okay. So sure enough, I tried it out. I took a little bit of my face cleanser, which I'll show you here. Excuse me. It's all right. Didn't get on me. We're good. So I next up. I just mixed it with a little bit of baking soda. Okay. And I'm going to let you feel it here. You can see it makes a great scrub. It's not too so abrasive. It, okay. It's just kind of like a light scrub. Oh, yeah. I can feel the grit in there. The grit, yeah. Which is what you're always looking for. for. And exactly. It didn't dissolve in the water, so it just okay. kind of, uh, yeah, it worked like a wonderful. And then how did it wash it off? Wash off perfectly. It didn't dry out my skin. I used my moisturizer after, and I actually liked it better than some of the face scrubs. It feels pretty good cheap. right afterwards. Exactly. And that's all you have to do is use your own face cleanser and a little bit of baking soda. Okay. So <laughs> now there are other things you can use baking soda that's for. Right. You, you really opened Tons up a whole new world. Of things. So I went onto the site on Pinterest and I found seriously like a hundred things you can use baking soda for. Okay. I already knew about baking soda and toothpaste. You see it in a lot of toothpaste because yep. it's a natural form of whitening and it also just helps to take off the little particles of stain on your teeth. It exfoliates your teeth. Exactly. Kind of. So if you don't mm. have toothpaste you can use baking soda and peroxide. Okay. Um, don't swallow that. No. But it can be used as a shampoo. <laughs> Another thing if Like you a dry shampoo? Kind or? of like a cleansing shampoo. Okay. So a lot of times, uh, females especially, you use so much product in your hair, you need to get that buildup out. Damage. You add a little bit of the baking soda with That's your right. shampoo, it helps take out all that buildup from hairspray or gels or mousse okay. or whatever else you put in your hair. Right. Um, I, I wrote a bunch of lists out here because yeah. you can't go through all of it. It can be used as a soak, also good as a deodorizer. It's fantastic in cleaning products. So if in your laundry too? Put it in your laundry. Honestly, I couldn't get over how many different things baking soda can be used It's a for. tiny miracle in a box. It, it really is. So right. it's like, honestly, if you have to bring one product with you, just bring some baking soda in a little baggie. And that's the great thing about it. It travels so well because it's not a liquid. You can just put a little bit in a baggie, add it to your shampoo as a deodorant, uh, Toothpaste. Be careful traveling want. with it in a baggie. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. Now, with the kids, there's that's fun right. things you can do. What are we going to do? Do an experiment and that's here. Thing. It can also be used uh, exactly. We, to we have to do this really quickly. This Perfect. is okay. you put some food coloring in. This is just vinegar and baking soda. This can also use as like a. And you put some food coloring like, in it. Should I do this too? Look what it is. Sure, go for it. Oh, look at this. Woo! You get like a little mini. Now this explosion. is how you make one of those uh, volcanoes, right? You have it come in. Look at look at the reaction. That's exactly. science right there happening. It can also be used as a form of entertainment for your kids. Yeah. So that's... it can kind of be used for anything. So if you have to go camping or traveling, I honestly recommend just bringing baking Bring soda with you. Bring a box. You'll be all right. It's deodorant, everything. And you can go on our Pinterest site, of course, and I have pinned it into products we love, baking soda. 101 uses you can use it for. There you have it. Mm -hmm. Melissa Lamb, making your life easier and cheaper, I think, That's too. A lot cheaper.